everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Bianca today I am going to be working on this ball over here it is one that you've seen before in or I hope that you've seen before if you haven't seen the piranha and apple costume video please go check it out so that you know how I made I covered this one up but I uh, if you have seen it <laughs> you'll know that I use newspaper and paper bags. But for this project, I actually used a different type of paper, not paper bags. If you ever work in construction or if you paint homes, there is a paper that you can get at Home Depot or at a home improvement store that you line, uh, you cover the floors to prevent spilling. And we still had some of that from when we painted our home, I guess. <laughs> and I've just been using that to cover it. So this piece in particular has one layer, the first one of newspaper, which is actually grocery store paper because that's free and I don't have to pay for it. And uh, two layers of the like thick construction paper. So, oh gosh. So, oh gosh. Did it ex did it explode? Oh no, I'm gonna deflate you. Because it's so hot outside, sometimes uh, it'll expand. And it actually did that to me already, so I'm nervous that it's doing that. But I wanted to paint this before I deflated the ball. Because if you have seen the piranha plant and apple costume, you know that you should paint your piece while the ball is in there to keep this, this, the shape. Oh, okay. Well, I think it's okay. <laughs> Ooh, my hair. I think it's okay. Um, before it goes away from me, because these guys love to do that, I am gonna show you that I got some orange spray paint and this orange spray paint I got from a place in Pasadena called Remainders and they are a really cool nonprofit uh, where people can go and donate art supplies that they no longer use and then they sell that back into the community so I got the spray paint which is almost completely full and I'm going to be covering there's so many I'm gonna cover spray paint this and um, yeah. While I paint this piece, let me show you the materials I used for the base of both costumes. While our piece is drying, and my assistant is here, uh, super helpful. I'm going to start on making the orange blossom. To make the orange blossom, I had some white poster paper and I'm going to create five petals. These petals were about three inches wide and seven inches tall. Using the back of the scissors, I curved each petal. With the same poster paper, we're going to make a cylinder. So I cut out an inch wide, seven inch long rectangle <laughs> and I glued the ends together. Once we have all of the pieces, we can start making our flower. So with a little bit of glue, you're going to glue each of these petals together. I use my glue gun to paste the cylinder onto the flower. If you have a yellow pom-pom, you don't need to do this step but I didn't have one, so I had to create one. 
I made a pom-pom using my clover pom-pom maker and I just stuck it in the center of the cylinder of the flower. I made two slits on two of these petals and I stuck this hair clip through these petals and that was it. <laughs> That's how I was able to put a clip on this piece and put it on my hair. I decided to add two big leaves to my orange blossom and I just pasted those behind two petals. The last thing left to do is to measure out where my arms are going to go. I usually do this by trying on the big ball and marking some X's on the outside. And I do that with the help of my husband. Once I see the marks, I go ahead and start cutting those pieces out and then it's ready to wear. And here it is. Here is the orange costume. As you see, I just put my little flower and leaves on my head. I made my hair and put my hair into a little bun. And my makeup, uh, just a little bit of orange eyeshadow and yellow. Uh, just very simple. I didn't have a lot of orange, but I think it works. Uh, I finished it off with some green tights and some see-through heels. And in a few moments, I will show you my peach costume. For my James and the Giant Peach costume, I decided to cut out a lot of seagulls. I think I actually just cut out 14. But we are going to make little seagulls and cut out an additional wing so we can paste them later on. I colored each seagull using three colors, black, gray, and orange, and now it's time to paste that wing. What I did is fold the wing of the seagull that I've cut out, and then fold a small section of the wing that isn't pasted. I then add a little bit of glue onto that wing and add it to the seagull. Once I finished this one, I had 13 more to go. Now that all my seagulls have wings, I grabbed some of the floral wire and made a small circle on one of the ends. This piece I'm going to hot glue onto each of my seagulls. All right, so we have our orange ball here and I need to transform this into more of a peachy color to be the James and the Giant Peach. A good tip that I have for you is to go into the clearance section of your local hardware store and see if they have any uh, half off priced paint. I have this peach color and then I have this uh, yellow. So I'm going to mix these with this other color that I had made a long time ago and hopefully get a good peach color on, on my ball here. I will be painting this and maybe in a bit you'll see the end result. All right, so to paint a peach, if you've ever looked at one, it has so many colors and my colors were just a bit dull. Um, they were too light for my liking. So luckily I still had some red paint 
and I grabbed some of that red paint, blotched it on my piece along with some of that yellow and the other orange that I had made and just put my brush all over it, um, blending it on the ball itself to give it that peach color of all of these colors fading into each other. I hope that makes sense because it did in my mind <laughs> and I think it still turned out pretty good. I grabbed my old snail costume and I decided to reuse that paper to create the stem. While I am making the stem with these glamorous faces that I'm making, <laughs> I just twisted this paper into the shape that I wanted and used tape to stick it all together. I grabbed all of my seagulls and wrap the wire around the edge of the stem and put some tape to secure them all together. So these seagulls are going to be the seagulls that lift the peach out of the water. I wanted to have another character with me, so I grabbed one of my plastic spiders and painted some white stripes on it to create Miss Spider. And once she's done, we're ready for the reveal. second costume as you see I shortened the stem and I put it in my put my hair in a bun and all I did was put some bobby pins in there it's kind of falling down but I could have secured it a little bit more with more bobby pins I think the ball turned out really cute painted the way that I did I really like how it turned out and my spider which I lost, I, I don't know where she is. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to give it a like and consider subscribing to see more videos like this one. If you do make either an orange costume or a peach costume, please make sure to share it with me on Instagram. I always love seeing your makes. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. I tried to make some origami seagulls and I could not, but Josh did and look at how awesome his bird turned out. So I decided that I can make my seagulls how I can, which would be 2D. <laughs> Both are beautiful and that is why I decided to make 14 of my seagulls because Josh's would create 15.